Hey, I'm Shar, and welcome to readings. Gemini. We're going right into your reading. No oracle cards, no this card, that card. It's going right into your reading. Gemini. And we're using the Radiant Rider Weight. Gemini. Gemini. Okay. Are you ready, darling? I know you're ready. Apparently, Spirit's not ready. <laughs> Apparently, Spirit's not ready. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's go. Let Spirit speak. Gemini. Spirit speak. Temperance in the reverse. Followed by the star in the reverse. Followed by the seven of wands. Well, you get yourself all uptight about, darling. Okay, so you might be beating yourself up. You've fallen off course. Did you fall off course? Were you on the path and then something threw you off? These things happen. But now you're kind of, I think you're kind of being a little bit hard on yourself. Or you might actually even be trying to shun others or not talk to others because something happened here. Okay, so we fell off course. Maybe we didn't test the waters. And now the star in the reverse, so uh, there's no great possibility. But what there is a great possibility is you've got your armor on now with the Seven of Wands. This is not a fight card. This is preparing for battle. This is shields up. I'm prepared. I'm waiting. I just know someone's going to come or I just know a fight's going to happen or I just know. This is being all tight. Mm, I'm tight. I'm ready. And nothing freaking happening. All right. Gemini, what's going on? What's going on, my darling? It's got a lot of Geminis out there. And, uh, doesn't matter, male or female, but right now I'm kind of picking up a male presence, but doesn't matter. I have the Three of Pentacles followed by the Five of Cups. Were you trying to rebuild something, but it didn't work? Did you try to get in touch with somebody? Did you try to talk out an unfortunate thing that might have happened between you and somebody, somebody you might have been married to, with the Three of Pentacles, the marriage card, also the rebuild card. Were you trying to rebuild, but then something happened, and then you started looking back? You know, um, you know, Jim, is when we think we're healed and then we move forward and all of a sudden we realize that we're not healed from something and it can strike us down uh, out of the blue. And I've had friends who said, and, and I've seen it with my own eyes, that they felt really good. I'm moving on. I'm feeling really good. I'm staying on course. But then they see somebody that hurt them or they see somebody that they're trying to heal from and all it took was that one look and they were they were like bam down now i've seen that with my own eyes and i, I like what the hell happened it's like well i guess we weren't as healed as we thought we were so more time needs to be done here so i, I really were you trying to rebuild Gemini? Did you see someone? Or did you hear from someone? Or did somebody mention someone? You know what? It can be the smallest little thing. You were digging around one day cleaning and all of a sudden, bam, there's a picture of somebody. You know, and that's all it would take to bring you right back down again. 
but let's continue on. So we've fallen off course. Now we're got ourselves all in defense and waiting for something. Page of Cups is here, but the Eight of Wands is not. Page of Cups. But the talkie talkie is not here. Nobody's talking. The Eight of Wands is in the reverse. Nobody's coming, nobody's going, nobody's talking. Gemini, I think you're waiting for someone to produce a cup. I think you're waiting for someone to bring a cup. Or I think you're waiting to tell someone how you really care for them, but the communication can't come out. I don't think you can speak those words. Um, I, I, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Let's get some cards out here. Well, we've got the Emperor in the reverse, followed by the Four of Swords. So, yeah, Four of Swords is in the reverse. The Emperor is in the reverse. What the hell happened, Gemini? I, You know, Gemini, I'm going to tell you, I really think that you were doing good, and then something happened. I think something reminded you, and then you, you thought you were healed. But then you started thinking again. You know what, there's a, I like to call it the shark. And maybe it was the shark came into your life. And the, the shark is when you heal from someone and you're feeling a hell of a lot better and you're getting on with your life. And all of a sudden you decide, I wonder if I thought about them, if I would still feel them. I wonder if they're still in my energy. And so you you'd sit there and you would think about them. And this is what I call the shark. And this is where the shark starts to come in and swim. And it swims through the ethers, searching, searching and searching and searching for that mark. So now you've sent out the shark, and the shark is searching the ethers, the consciousness of man, whatever, and trying to find that mark to see if maybe they're still thinking about you. But what you do instead is you do something that ruins, that takes you off course and ruins your success that you've been having. Okay? So, and then all of a sudden, bam, the shark finds your mark and you're thinking, yeah, I can still feel them. They still think about me. I can still feel them. Or you can think, oh, no, I can't feel them at all anymore. Oh, well, I guess they've moved on. Either way, Sending out the shark is always a bad, bad, bad idea. Continue on with your healing, darling. If they're thinking about you, they'll call. If they're not, they won't. Don't send out the shark. Don't go into your conscious mind, into the consciousness of your mind, and search for that energy. Sending out the shark is never a good idea. So keep the shark in your own waters okay so let's continue on so i really do feel that gemini you were doing good and you fell off course something happened here and it shows that you were starting to rebuild and now looking back you were starting to rebuild now looking back with the five of cups looking at all the things that used to be and all the broken cups and all the sorrow and and, and waiting for someone to return or someone to uh, talk to you. You know, there's some loving words that you're waiting to hear. Whether it's a lover or you just need someone to talk to you. You're waiting for someone to speak to you. It, it could be a family member. It could be your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. It could be a, a dear friend. It could be someone that just sort of disappeared out of your life and you just don't know why. You know, there's just unanswered questions there. So we have you sending out the shark here. This this is a... Um, all right. So, Gemini, it appears here that you're ready to uh, move forward with somebody. But what I'm seeing is that this somebody is just not really here at this time. I mean, if you're going to send the shark out to look for somebody, then it's obvious, darling, that they're not getting in touch with you. 
<laughs> by phone or text or or social media of some sort. I mean, if you're going to send a shark out to look for an energy to see if they're still interested in you or if you can still pick up on them, then that's really more or less telling me that things have come to a final end. You know, has it really, really ended? Well, let me send the shark out and find out. So, you know, I'm going to put this as a title, sending out the shark, and we'll see how that goes. But you're waiting for a soulmate to come forward. And not just a, a, a love, but it's a different kind of soulmate connection here. Gemini, I really don't think that you're waiting for, like, love, 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 love. I think, darling, you're waiting to hear from somebody that you have a soulmate connection with. Like I said, it could be a family. It, it could be one of your grown children. It could be anybody here. And, and you just, you, you're ready to take that leap. You know, you're ready to hear from them and take that leap into being with them. But this person, this person, hold on. This is a smooth talker and a sexy walker. This is someone who usually has their life together. They really, truthfully, don't really need anybody else. They have a mindset that I am all I need. That kind of a person. I'm all I need. I don't need anybody else. I don't need my parents. I don't need brothers and sisters. I, I am everything that I should possibly want in life. This is someone who doesn't really go into tower moments. This is someone who doesn't seem to have any kind of <laughs> emotion. Emotions. They don't have emotion. I'm not saying they're robotic, but they just don't go into depressions. And they just really don't care. They just live they they wake up they do what they gotta do they go home they're structured they do this they do that the people that are in their life matters are in their life but it seems like if you're on the outskirts of their life that they just carry on like like they just don't care you know there are people like that and this is someone who is constantly 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 thinking about money, but they're not a spiritual person. I will tell you that much. This is not someone who has spirit. This is someone who's very worldly and someone who's constantly, constantly thinking about money, how to upgrade, make it better, keep up with the Joneses. Gotta have, gotta have, gotta have. So let's find out who is here with you, Gemini. We have Taurus and we have Aries. Aries is here again, and Aries a third time with the full. We have Cancer here. We have Taurus again. We have an Aquarius and a Virgo. These are the signs that are prominent in your reading, Gemini. You know, on the bottom, I kind of got the devil here. Yeah, you know, Gemini, there might be some sort of, I don't know if it's a dependency that you might have on this person, like, if they left my life, I, I would really not really have much of a life. That kind of a thing, you know, that it's kind of hard to pinpoint. It's probably someone that you're, work yourself around a lot and do for a lot and and even if you don't get the respect that maybe you should be getting yet if they were to walk away from you it would be a, a crushing blow because you're kind of always there for them I don't know only go with what the cards give me and this is what the cards are giving me today for you Gemini I want to thank you for joining me today and if you like the way I read please like and share and 
before you leave, reach back and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell so you know the next time that Spirit and I are in the room to speak with you. Namaste, Gemini. Namaste.